how much is your man gonna have to give you to be the cooking, the cleaning, especially there the toilets? Go. There you go. I'm not cooking. I'm not doing. You're not that. doing any of that. I'll cook. I'll clean. You know certain things, but like if that's my main job as a woman, like why am I doing that? Okay. You know what I'm Let's saying? Let's save the best like, for last. Like it's supposed to be like nurturing. I'm supposed to be beautiful yeah. for my you man. I'm not supposed to be. The be Slave. That's not true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone, hold on. These men have every excuse in the fucking book. They want you to cook and to clean like you're a damn slave or an assistant. That's why they got hands and restaurant for people that can do it for themselves. You know, us, we get so many benefits, right? We really need the men in our lives. So what about them? Like, Maybe it really depends on the woman who right. you're being married to. If you get to meet someone, let's say Leia, Gary is very lucky because Leia is the housemaker that you would dream of. You don't know what you're doing. So next question, what benefit does a man get from, you know, being married? Listen, being married in the Philippines. To Philippines? Yeah, to Filipina or for more women, you know, just being married. What do they do get, like a benefit? Good question. Is there a benefit? <laughs> Is there a benefit? Let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like us, like from women, we get a lot of benefit from mm -hmm. being married. You like, for example, we have a provider, yeah. we have someone that we can talk to, we have a protector or something. Yeah, yeah we get benefit. But what about a man? A man, do men get benefit from being married? Uh, it, it's actually a tricky. It's hard, right? It's a tricky question. Yeah. It is actually a controversial because uh, you know a lot of women uh, in back in the states they think they don't need a man, like you know. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So. In a relationship, what do really men, you know, benefit from being in a relationship? Like, mm -hmm. you know, us, we get so many benefits, right? We really need a man in our life. So, what about them? Like, uh, okay. okay, I know. Maybe it really depends on the woman who right. you're being married to. If you get to meet someone, let's say Leia, Gary is very lucky because Leia is. Uh, like the housemaker that you would dream of, taking care of the husband, taking care of the kids, taking care of- As a man, I think the best job in the world is being a dad. As a man with a wife, having a wife that is a fantastic mother is top of my list. Number two, is having a wife that is a phenomenal homemaker. And that's what Gladys is talking about. I am blessed to have one uh, in La Bea. And I will tell you right now, if uh, I didn't have La Bea, I'd be looking in the Philippines. Let's go. Of the house. And at the same time, also wanting to contribute, creating your own YouTube channel like yeah, this. I yeah, think yeah. that's that's very beautiful. Yeah. So if you find like a wife like Leia, then that alone is already a big benefit of being married. That's yeah, I think when you marry the Filipina, there's actually a lot of benefits on that. And because um, Filipinas are really known how to take care, you know, like our partners so you can for sure if my man married no me one day tattoos. i can assure you that i'm gonna take care of him no matter no what when he gets old and that's what he can get to me or like a benefit from me no is, uh, because i used to you know my family treat us or taught us how to take care of our loved ones or even their child since i was you know i already taught how to Not be a, a good partner them. so i think Cook something for them, you know? Provide what they need. A hug, a kiss. They would be happy with small things or small... No crazy veneers with yuck mouth teeth underneath. Let's go, yo. Let's freaking go. Y'all want to go all the way in? Yes, I'm talking about your teeth. What did he say? Oh, let's go. Signature love. They are, they are appreciative kind of person. So, um, yeah, I think the most 
powerful, I guess, that a Filipina can offer is to be with them for mm-hmm. the rest of their life, no matter what happens, to be bad or good. Because, of course, we'll, we're just temporary. So, we're mm-hmm. gonna just, there were times that we get sick. So, there were times that it's um, too bad. So, um, the good thing, I think, from a Filipina is we're gonna take care of our men, like, you know, they, they deserve. So, yeah. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are at the point, the tipping point that Kevin Samuels talked about, what, four or five years ago. We are at the point right here, right now, that men are just done. They're done. They have too many options. Women try to belittle the passport and say, oh, it's only $165 or $130 and anybody can get one. Yeah, dummy. Yeah. Well, are you retarded? You should be terrified of the fact that it's so easily accessible and that the American passport is one of the most powerful passports on the face of this planet. You should be horrified at your prospects. The the future of Western females is all based on the female. We have transcended the point where men are going to come and save you. And it's now all up to you, which is what you jockeyed for, petitioned for, fought for, and ultimately achieved. The future of females is purely female. What you going to do? Huh? You think you've been fighting before? All my life I had to fight. It's really about to get crucial. If you are a Western woman, you have no choice. No quarter. You'll be given no respite. You'll have to bend the knee. Shout out to Fire and Blood. Shout out to Fire and Blood. Shout out to Team Black. Shout out to Damon Targaryen. Let's go. You're going to have to bend the knee. You're going to have to start asking these men to marry you. You're going to have to start pursuing relentlessly. Pursuing being the things that these men are looking for, or it's over. 10 years, 2034, it's a wrap. When Guapito is 11, it's over. Over. And there will be no hope left. Not a drop. Team, drop me a three if you got something from this. You know, we don't do this purely for entertainment. We do it for um, the love and desire of being able to, you know, um, help each other out. Keep the money in the family, make it happen. Fellas, if ever there was a time for you to understand your value and your position of leverage, it's now. Don't be afraid and say, hey, hate it, like it or love it. I don't like a woman with hair on her arms. Why do you have to settle? You know, one thing that that bothers me more than anything else in life. Is having to dumb myself down to make somebody else feel comfortable. I felt that that way several times in life to not threaten somebody else. I have to dumb myself down. I can't use the full power of my vocabulary. Um, I can't speak with the level of diction and pronunciation that intimidates certain people. I don't like it. As a man, I have no desire 
to sit here and uh, I'm just not going to sit here and, and, and try to make everybody else feel good as a man at my own detriment. Those days are over. We've done it for decades, century, millennia. And somehow, some way, the those that were most protected have found a way to rage rage against the machine. And that's fine. Just go ahead and do it your way now. <laughs>